Hi everyone, I'm Juliana. I'm a yoga instructor and movement instructor at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, the Zakem Center for Integrated Therapies and Healthy Living. Today we're gonna to do a side elbow plank. So how do you get up, right? So what can you do? So this is a, a, a exercise, a quick video that you'll be able to progress in a form that you can move and maybe by the end of the week, you're doing your side elbow plank, all right? So let's get started. So make sure that you're gonna be uh, laying down on your side. If it's uncomfortable for you, if you need to put like a, a blanket, I have these little knee pads here. If you wanna put that under your hips, you can also add that if your mat feels really uncomfortable. I'm just gonna put it here just for fun because you know, after all I have it. Your elbows on the floor, all right. So there's several ways we can come up. So you wanna make sure that you're your knees are stacked a little bit in front of you and your heels are kind of like aligned with your hips. So take your hands to the floor and you can push into a fist or your fingers wherever it feels more comfortable. I think a fist is really a little easier on the wrist and you can push into your knees and you're just gonna lift your hips up and then bring it down. All right, so that is your first step. Just pushing the knees. Now again, if this is bothering your knees, take that blanket under your knees as well. So not only under your hip, but under your knees, right? So you get, you hinge, you push, you lift, and maybe that hand that's on the floor can even come to your hips. So having that sensation of lifting up. All right, we'll come back down again. Progressing a little bit more. What if you keep one knee down and extend one leg? All right, here we go. Again, if this feels too much, you can always come back to the one that you did before and continue practicing. You should be feeling this on your side abs here and you lift. Again, hand can stay down. It can come to your hips. It can even reach up. So feel the knee pushing down, lifting the hips. You should feel that your side abs are engaged and then release. Now, another thing, what happens if that elbow starts to feel off, right? So sometimes your elbows can be really under your body. That's mm -hmm. gonna feel really uncomfortable on the neck. And sometimes your elbow is way too far. It's gonna again pinch the neck. Try to keep that elbow and shoulder aligned. Another thing you can do is that fold that edge of your mat or your blanket so you can give a little bit more comfort there when that elbow pushes down. So let's give it a second try this time extending both legs all right so maybe you bring one foot the top foot uh, is in front the other one's on back again you can support your hands you can lift you can hold you can reach now you can find so many things here now if you bring that hand under you can even feel how connected and how engaged your side abs are and then you release and you bring it down all right this is the last one. And I'm not asking you to go to from one to five, right? You're just taking little steps and seeing what works for you. And again, one side might feel very different than the other. The other one is stacking your feet. Now, again, this again, it requires that you really push to the ball mount of your feet. So try not to let the foot roll, but really press. So when you're ready, you're gonna lift, maybe reach, right? You can choose. Feel how strong and powerful you are, pressing with the ball of the feet, pressing with your heels to keep your body up and slowly bring it down. Excellent. And that's it. So if you want, try and we're gonna repeat that on the other side or turn around and watch the video again. And um, give me a feedback later on if you like it, what do you like, what do you didn't like and what you want more. Thank you so much. I'm Juliana and I hope to see you soon.